everybody i am anjali and welcome again to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to make simple sari blouse like this earlier also i have done the video for the uh, princess cut blouse so i will leave the link below in the description box you can go and check it out so if you want to know how to make this kind of sari blouse then keep on watching but before that i would like to request you all that please go and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because i upload really good sewing videos that will be really really useful for you so if you are watching this video for the first time then please subscribe to my channel so let's start with today's video so this will be a astar wala blouse so let's get started so first we are going to decide the length of the blouse so the length of my blouse is 14 so i will take 2 inch extra so it makes 16 inch for the front side of blouse you should take 2 inch extra and for the back side 1 inch extra is enough now i'm going to give the marking so first i'm going to take the half of my shoulder that is 7 my shoulder is 14 inches wide so i will take half of it so that makes 7 inch so i'll make a 7 inch line here and then i'll come 7 inch down for the armhole measurement for neckline i'm taking 3 inch wide and here i will mark my neckline so the depth of my neckline will be around 7 inch so i'm going to mark 7 inch here i'm going to make a block here for the neckline in this block i'm going to make the neckline for my blouse now i'm going to give half inch down a point this will be my shoulder drop so i'll join these two points like so Now here I'm going to mark the measurement of my uh, burst area. So my burst is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9 and a half. So I'm going to mark 9 and a half marking here. Like this. Take one inch from this corner, and I will make a curve for the armhole. Now we are going to mark the darts. So from this side, take four inch ahead and mark a point here, like this. From the shoulders, mark the highest point of your bust. So mine is ten and a half. So I'll reduce half inch. So it makes ten. So I'm going to mark a ten inch marking here. like this now i'm going to make a line here straight line so this is the straight line from here i'm going to take 1 and 1/2 inch of gap and i'll take this little bit up not much this is the straight line you don't have to mark it straight just little bit up and make a point here like this this will be our second dot so make a straight line here like this again take one and a half inch of gap from this line and mark another point here so our this dart will come here this side to the sides of the blouse so for that what you have to do is just measure this area this remaining area from your armhole to your waistline mine is 9 so half of 9 is 4 and a half so take this point and make a straight line here so your this dart will come here like this so these are the three darts now for the fourth one you have to take again 1 and a half inch of gap from this point so keep it here and then 
just take this line straight to this armhole line so just mark one and a half inch from here and take it straight and just join this line here now just take one inch of gap both the sides one inch here and one inch here here you just have to give little bit just quarter inch both the sides and again make a dot So our four dots are ready. Now we are going to make the measurement for the waist and burst. So the measurement of my waist is 34. So 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half. So I'm going to mark 8 and a half here. And I will take this 2 inch dart fabric also. So that makes 10 and a half. So I'm going to mark 10 and a half here. We are going to make a straight line we will mark 10 and a half here also and we will make the straight line here and now we are going to give seam allowance so for that I'm going to take 2 inch like this now from the downside, I'm going to give one inch line for the folding. Now we are going to cut this out. For the front side, I'm going to give simple round neck. So I'll take half inch of line here and I'm going to make a curve. Now we have to mark all these darts to this side also. So what you have to do is just turn this like so. all the marking of the darts now you can make these darts a little bit dark so all our markings are printed here also now we have cut the center part Now we are going to keep this on the main fabric and then we will cut it out. Now we are going to cut the sleeves. So for that I have taken these two pieces of fabric uh, for both these sleeves. So the length of the fabric will be whatever length you want to take for your sleeves. Take that much, add two more inches to it. So mine is five inches so I am adding two more inches to it. So it is seven inches long fabric. The width of the fabric will be half of your chest measurement, add 2 more inches to it. So mine is 38, so half of 38 is 19, so I'm adding 2 more inches to it, so it makes 21. So 21 is the width of this fabric, here you can see 21. Fold it from the middle, so from the open side, this is the folded side, so from the open side just take 3 inches down. A marking here now go two inches up little bit slanting 
and make a marking here. Now from here make a curve for these leaves. Now take the one and a half inch of line from the downside. This will be for the folding. Now from here mark your round arm measurement. So mine is 12. So half of 12 is 6. I'm going to take quarter inch for the losing. You can take exact size also. I like to wear little bit loose my sleeves. So now I'm going to join these two points together. I give a little bit of seam allowance around one inch. And then just take two pieces and now cut this front side also. So here I just placed all my blouse pieces to the main fabric like this. These are the two uh, sleeves. This is the two front side of the blouse and these are the two uh, strips for the front side of the button patti. So these are, uh, so the measurement of these strip will be, the uh, one will be one and a half inch wide and one will be two inches wide and length will be just equal to the front side of your blouse where we are going to attach these strips. So just place this on the main fabric and then just cut it out. So here my all the pieces are ready here you can see with the uh, linings so this is the lining and this is the main fabric so I just cut all the uh, pieces with the main fabric and our all pieces are ready now we are going to give the darts first so we will take this line and we will give the dart so if you want you can give a rough stitch here to join both the pieces together so that your work will be little easy so here I just give the rough stitch to all over the uh, blouse to join both the pieces the lining and the main fabric now we are going to give the darts first so what you have to do is take the wrong side of your blouse like this and just take the center line like this and then give a stitch here similarly you have to give all the four dots and similarly to the next piece also so this is the wrong side I'll take this line like this and now I'm going to give a stitch to this part So here I have given the stitch to all the darts and from the right side it's looking like this. Here you can see similarly we have to give darts to the another one. So now we are going to attach these uh, strips. So this is one and a half wide strip. I'm going to attach this to the right side of my blouse. So this will come here inside the blouse right side of your strip and wrong side of your blouse facing each other like this and then give a stitch here and this two inch wide fabric 
this you have to attach to the left side of your blouse so this is the left side take the both the right sides facing together right side of your strip right side of your blouse facing each other like this now give a stitch here so here are both the strips are attached so this 2 inch uh, strip we have to take it inside like this like this is the strip so we will take it inside completely like this and from the wrong side we have to just give it a double fold one and then two so it will look like this this is the right side of the blouse here i have given this stitch here i have attached the strip to the wrong side of my blouse like you can see now what you have to do is just take out this strip like this so first give a small little fold and then second fold will come just on the stitch that we have given here this stitch just on this stitch like this so here my front side is ready now i'm going to complete the uh, neckline so for that i have got this long bias binding strip so i'm going to uh, attach it here and then here separately so i will make a thin piping with this and then i'm going to attach this to the back side of my blouse and uh, for the back side this is the design i have already done the video for this kind of neckline so if you want to make the same neckline for your um a blouse then you can go and follow that uh, video and you can make uh, this kind of neckline this is very very easy to make so just uh, go and follow those instructions i will leave the link below in the description box you can go and check it out so here i have already given the neckline to the back side of my blouse that's why i'm making the uh, neckline piping here separately and then i will join both the shoulders facing right sides together like this facing both the right sides together after finishing the neckline i will join both the shoulders like this so firstly i'm going to fold a, a little bit of fold from the side so here my a uh, strip is looking like this from one side i have folded this now this is my neckline so i'm going to attach this strip here so what you have to do is just uh, take the right side of your strip and the right side of your blouse facing each other like this i'm going to attach it here so take little bit of extra fabric around half an inch like this and then take this extra fabric to the back side of your blouse and then give a stitch here and i'm going to give stitch all over the neckline i have attached my piping to the neckline like this now we are going to take this part to the wrong side of the blouse like this so this fold will come here like this now just take out little bit of fabric for the piping like this just for a thin piping and then give a stitch to the back side of your blouse like this from the back side it will look like this before folding this fabric to the wrong side you have to give small cuts here to the curves of the um neckline i have given this stitch and my piping is looking like this from the back side here is the stitch and it's looking like this so i have given the piping to the back side of my blouse that's why i am giving this uh, to the right side also and i am giving this separately otherwise what is the normal procedure that uh, you just join both the shoulders the front one and the back one the back side of your blouse 
join both the shoulders together and then take a long bias binding strip and in a similar way you have to attach it and then just go till the shoulders and then go to the back side of the blouse and whole neckline you have to cover and then come from the another shoulder and then come and complete your another end of the blouse the another side so here my both the shoulders are attached this is the back side and this is the front side so this is how my neckline is looking this is the front neckline and this is the back neckline so i just attached it from the shoulders now i'm going to attach both the sleeves together so for that first of all i'm going to fold this one and a half inch of line like this so i'm going to attach my sleeves so i have given the stitch to the down side to the bottom side of my sleeves and it's looking like this so the place where it is a deeper curve so you have to attach this piece to the front side and with the lesser curve we have to attach it to the back side facing both the right sides together the right side of your sleeves and right side of your blouse facing each other we have to give a stitch here so for that just take the middle part of your sleeves so for that just fold it in half and then give a small cut here so just take the middle part of your sleeves and the middle part of your blouse that is the shoulder part so just attach both the piece here and then give stitch here like this and then to the back side like this so now my sleeves are attached to the blouse now i'm going to give the fitting so first you have to take the round arm measurement and then take half of it and then measure it here from the folded side so mine is 12 so i will take 6 so i'm going to mark 6 inches here i'm taking quarter inch extra because for the losing now here you have to measure the measurement of your chest so your chest divided by 4 that is 9 and a half mine was 9 and a half and then your waist measurement so mine is 8 and a half so i'm going to mark 8 and a half here now join all these three points similarly make the marking here also to this side also so this is the bottom side of my this is the neckline and this is the bottom side of my blouse so here i'm not giving that 1 inch of fold you can give 1 inch of fold that is perfectly all right but here i am giving this uh piping so i'm going to attach it here and then i will take it to the wrong side and i will take it out little bit of fabric here because to the back side of the blouse i have given the piping so that's why i'm giving piping here so here i have given the fittings to the sides you can see it's looking like this now my blouse is completed now if you're getting this uh, extra fabric here here at the sleeves part so you can always give a shape just leave around 1 inch or 1 and a half inch and then cut the excess fabric like this so here my blouse is done you can see it's looking like this this is the bottom part i have given the uh, piping here if you want you can just fold simply like this and give a stitch and if you want you can give the piping also now you just have to attach the hooks and then it will come here like this and our blouse is ready to wear from the back side it's looking like this so this was an easy tutorial about simple sari blouse i hope this video will be useful for you and you liked it and if you liked it then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye and take care